in this offering I want to kind of break this into a couple different videos because they're they're kind of two distinct um, uh, areas uh, uh, this is a video that accompanies the um, uh, working with surfaces in uh, Carlson now as I said in the article, we run Carlson on Civil 3D, and I think it's just a really good comprehensive tool because we can we can grab a lot of the things that Civil 3D has, alignments, uh, corridors to some extent, and um, maybe surfaces, OG surfaces, and, and and bring those in and use them in our work um, to to save our customers some money and and, and time. So. Um, that's what you'll see me working with so your mileage may vary if you're running it over a standard uh, AutoCAD or possibly with IntelliCAD. Now the first thing I want to do is is talk about um, let's just get a, a surface built so we're going to use triangulate and contour and these are the items I'm going to use to make my surface and what we like to do is use layer manager um, to kind of pick out what we're going to do so here is um, this um, uh, this information and uh, this job was done by um, one of our uh, engineers Chad Lawson just a, a great job on this thing um, and this is obviously a lot of information we've got a big underground retention here uh, a lot of storm that we've got to respect and, and move water around um, kind of a flat site um, that, that does some some sloping up on the edge so there's there's some stuff that's going to be happening here that's that's pretty detailed but for right now let's just get a surface built so I'm going to hit the space bar bring up layer manager again and I think surface only is what I want yes it is now um, these are the break lines that he drew and I'm going to talk about that uh, in, in another video so for right now um, uh, I'm just going to take and, and, and shut those off and kind of show you what the initial surface would look like um, that we built uh, from the engineers work so let's bring our surface information up and let's talk about this a little bit because one of the things about Carlson is that there's a lot of stuff hidden uh, in the command, uh, in, hidden in plain sight, if you will, because it's just, um, it, it looks like, a oh, I'll just leave it uh, the way things are and, and, you know, the default settings. But um, uh, I want to look at uh, the tri-faces also. Uh, I want to write a triangulation file. I think I did a, a little surface file here. It's mine. You know go and replace that um, I'm going to use an inclusion and exclusion areas and shrink wrap does okay the thing is that when you're doing a surface you really want to make those boundaries the work that you want to be responsible for simply because if it's there they're going to grade it and if it's something that's outside the parameters it's just a couple triangles linking they may grade something that you may not like um, so we want to do uh, erase previous contour entries um, let's just get rid of all of them uh, to see that we've got a, a good clean look at contours uh, I leave my triangle lengths long um, let's see uh, a couple other things um, we can um, uh, we can densify uh, these break lines so the maximum distance of any line uh, is this chosen distance here um, I'll leave that alone for right now um, I'm going to contour here at a tenth of a foot and indexes are going to be every half foot um, and we're not going to draw labels right now and this is another important thing I can pick the things that I want uh, for my surface and um, I can even pick uh, a coordinate file or points file from Carlson and load that information so with all that being said uh, I'm going to go ahead and make the surface and um, it's asked me can I get rid of that triangulation file I say yes and the first things that it asks for is my inclusion or exclusion I highlight that I hit enter uh, it wants exclusion after that if I have some donuts in the middle that I don't want uh, I don't have any of those and then it says pick the stuff you want to do and what I'm going to do is just draw a box around everything and hit it and it's going to do the triangles and it's going to build the surface and it's going to give me some vertical edge information some break lines um, that are probably crossing each other just because this is the raw file that we use to process from the engineers and it was um, uh, it's, it's going to need some cleanup so that's what those are and here we go uh, let me shut off the tri lines I don't need those right now um, 
and here it is in its uh, sort of rough state and there's a lot of work that needs to be done to this but that is the surface production now real quick I want to hit um, uh, messing with uh, uh, with 3d polylines and um, doing the uh, the offset and I, I showed you that in the uh, uh, in, in the article but I just want to talk about that real quick and let's go here and oops wrong one and let's open this command it wants me to pick a polyline I think I can pick this one it's a good one here yeah there's a 3d one so you saw there's a 3d and 2d polyline what we'll do is is we'll give you 2d lines in the field and a lot of people use those to navigate against the surface along the edge of curb line so this is a great example of um, uh, of what this command can do so here I am at the beginning of this and there's point number one and I can certainly scroll down through these things and um, you'll see the blue square is kind of highlighted that takes me there um, and also kind of follows along here with slopes elevations all the way through this job and then this checkbox shows that this is a uh, a calculated or an elevation lease that I want to stay there and you can see because it's picking up that 8375 contour um, we're gonna make it a solid elevation and we're solid again in this 8350 but then this blue one here uh, this point 18 it must be is calculated so that is unchecked it's between those two but the slope distance remains remains consistent so that's how this command works for uh, for getting stuff together there's a lot of magic in the settings um, I urge you to kind of mess with those and and get used to them because you can change the way you want it to work there's all sorts of things that are happening up here um, so there's just a lot of power in this in this command that allows you to make this happen so once I've got this thing um, this line the way I want it I'm going to go to um, uh, to my 3d polyline utilities and we're going to go to the offset command and in the article I talked that this thing has a lot of power so what we're doing is at least for this case we're going to do a multiple offset and now this was set um, from before when, when I did the article I put these parameters in here and uh, I'll state again this is not how we build curb um, we don't do the, the 6.58 uh, uh, percent uh, slope um, to do the gutter because that's not how it's going to be graded but this is how I did it here just to kind of show you and I'll come here and say okay now uh, with layers and stuff you can pick those or you can actually type a layer and it will make a new layer name the only goofy thing about that is um, you can see here the one I did before all the layer uh, layers end up uh, being white which is which is okay it's just you know not good for the field and that's a 3d pi line and the side I want to offset it to is here and um, it wants me to select another poly line or enter to, to exit and again there's that command I just brought it up again in case I wanted to do it and I'm going to type a regen um, to kind of get rid of that line so now you can see the lines I've got um, face a curve back a curve um, uh, and and gutter line and if I do a quick profile here uh, let's see We'll just do it from the screen entities um, because that's what we've got you can see it comes down and right there is the curb so that's flat across the top you'll see on the on the screen where it's showing the flat top of curb and then it instantly drops down to the bottom of the curb and then this is that gutter okay and then what happens from that gutter it picks up our edge of paving and kind of continues on from there and you can see that the exaggeration is kind of crazy um, if we drop the exaggeration down um, we can uh, it makes a little bit more sense so if I zoom in it you can see that slope and it's um, it's a great tool to just knock out all those curb functions or a quick street if you want to so this is really cool it's really simple and um, uh, take a look at the next video and we'll talk about doing some brake lines